This is the new Disney one I've been working on. You can see two of the new ears displayed here. It's a work in progress, so I'm not quite done with it, but down here are postcards from the Wonderground Gallery in Disneyland. They have one in the Disney Springs area in Florida too, I believe, or at least it's somewhere in the Orlando area. And this is Ariel. There's the famous poster of Belle reading in her library, which I just love because you can see all the characters surrounding her. And if you're like a Disney office, you like to have a Disney office type picture. Here is a print of Up and just a balloon, the heart balloons that he's holding on to so cute while he gets a kiss from Ellie. And then here is the Disneyland Lilo and Stitch design, which I thought was so adorable because I like Lilo and Stitch, but I especially like the castle being behind them and I don't have that much Disneyland items, so I thought it'd be a nice treat for my wall. And up here we have Lady and the Tramp, which is one of my favorite Disney movies ever and my husband's. And up there is an Epcot Illuminations fireworks print that I have received from a um, an unboxing, actually. This was from a Magic at Your Door box, if you saw that on my channel. And I actually have two more prints that I have not yet put on my wall. This says France in Flight, and it's Mickey and Minnie on Dumbo. This happens to be one of my daughter's favorite rides at Disney, so I got this because I want to put this up on my wall with a picture of her. I just have to have that framed. And then this I love. This is Simba and his father Mufasa looking up at the stars. It's just gorgeous. I'm a big Lion King fan, so is my daughter, and I got this. I was actually contemplating getting a big version like that one, but I cheaped out and got the small postcard. However, I realized that all the rest of my postcards are vertical, and this is the only horizontal one I have, so I'm trying to figure out in my mind how to effectively put it on my wall. So if anyone has any suggestions of what I can do with that, please let me know, because I'm still trying to figure that out myself. And then over here, I have four photos, four uh, watercolor prints that I received actually from the UK as well. So I've been getting a lot of purchases from International um, lately, but I love these. I actually saw this on a blog, Disney in Your Day, um, and I thought that, you know, I, I think she had this one featured, and I'm a big Epcot fan, so of course I fell in love. It was in one of those roundups of gifts for Disney lovers, and I happened to look on her her Etsy page and she had a bunch of different prints including these four that were being sold together. Last I checked she did just take this design down recently so maybe she ran out for the time being but if you have a chance to purchase them they are gorgeous and that is the replica of Magic Kingdom up there you can see the rides through the watercolor design. Over here is Hollywood Studios aka MGM for those of you who like me can't seem to call it, stop calling it that. This is Epcot, of course, and then you can see some of the pavilions represented there. And then over here is uh, Animal Kingdom, and you can see the dinosaur ride and the roller coaster, and of course the um, Everest ride. So just so, so, so cute. And her channel's name, or her channel, her Etsy page is Kunitacha. So she is fantastic. I love these little watercolor prints, a little different color effects in them, so I had to represent them on my wall. I showed this in a previous unboxing, but this is the uh, print that I had purchased from Thomas Kincaid. There's a puzzle version of this as well that I've seen since found out about, but I'm okay with this because I got this discounted off of Amazon. I think it's about $75 there, cheaper than you can get in the park. And I happen to love looking at the castle every day. And then of course, this is just my trinkets that I have here on this wall. This is a popcorn bucket from this past Christmas. This was a popular Cinderella popcorn bucket that was being sold last year. This is an Epcot replica that was previously sold on Shop Disney. They now have a newer design, which I used in my my Christmas display this past year, if you actually saw those videos. Um, but this is the older model, and I just couldn't part with it, so now it's part of my year-round uh, Disney <laughs> display, and I'll use the other one where the model will actually go through for Christmas only. And then I got this from an unboxing um, from Gifts for Mickey. Actually, no, this is from Theme Park Monthly, this Epcot World Showcase um, emblem. This is actually just supposed to be me and my husband that we got from our wedding. So cute. And then a lot of people have asked me about this sign, so I wanted to just show it real quick. This is the Walt Disney World sign that is from a discontinued set that Disney used to officially make. Um, it's called the Monorail Signs and Resort Set. If I'm not mistaken, you can find... Uh, set still on eBay for a lot of money, unfortunately. I think my husband actually did spend around $200 when he purchased this for me 
years ago because he knew that I was a big Disney World freak and he happened to see this and I was adding to my Monroe collection at the time and this was a very, very generous Christmas present from him. But I did see one recently being sold for $75 um, that was lightly used. The lights just don't work anymore. This one does work, however. So if you can find a working model, here is what it does. Oh, there it is. It's behind Minnie Mouse. So if you have a working model, this is what it does. It lights up and says Walt Disney World. On camera, it's kind of hard to see, but it's a red light that is reflecting through the sign, which is really, really cool. Um, and it stays lit for about five minutes, and you have to press that button again. And it did come, come with a Grand Floridian sign, which if you put batteries in that, that also lights up. So there is that aspect. And then this is my two trinkets from Tokyo Disney Land, which I also showed on a recent video. So that is all my Disney art. Thank you from the UK. Thank you from Amazon. Thank you from the Wonderground Gallery. And thank you from Magic at Your Door. <laughs> so that is all my art that I have up here so far. And then of course, the ears to just adorn the wall and make it festive and pretty to look at every day. So I am loving this. This is a work in progress. I'm at thinking of adding a pin board to this as well because I wanna add pins and buttons to it. And we'll see.